Welcome back to the show. Well, the Ottawa Arts Council has their arts awards coming up again. They have seven awards to hand out here to tell us more about that. And of course, the incredible work that they do over at the Ottawa Arts Council. I'm joined by Nicole Milne, its executive director. Welcome, Nicole. Great to have you back here. Thank you so much. We're really excited to talk about the awards. Well, before we get to that, let's talk about the Ottawa Arts Council and the role it plays. Tell me about that role. Yeah, we're an arts service organization that has been around for just over 40 years. Our focus is advocacy for artists in support of the work that they're doing in the community. We also do a professional development for them through workshops or online classes or video works that we do as well as networking opportunities like the Arts Awards. Tell me a little bit about Ottawa as, as an arts community. I, you know, I've been doing this for a long time now and I find that we're just getting more and more artists that appear on this show and, and reaching out to us. Uh, there, we must have seen a huge growth in the last decade. There's no question. Yeah. yeah. Especially, we noticed it particularly ironically throughout the pandemic when so many people were turning to the arts for, for soothing and comfort mm. in the isolation that they were experiencing. And I think because of that, as we're sort of coming out on the edges of the pandemic, there's a real resurgence of the arts community. There are people that are, that are really understanding the value and the impact, not just economically with the city, but for a self-care a self yeah. kind of a way. Like how it's, if you're reading, if you're watching, if you're streaming, we all did it while we were while we were locked up behind closed doors. And sure. now the value is 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 really is really f is focused on on how that can bring communities together. And over the past ten years, there's no question the 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 communities are seeing the value uh, in, integrated into 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 the arts and the community and how it shapes vibrant vibrant communities. Yeah, it's a great way to describe it because it just last week, you know, it was meant Mental Health Week, and we, yes. we had uh, a woman from the Royal on the show. She's talking about art therapy, yes. right? And it just goes to show you how good it is for our mental health. Um, you mentioned those awards off the top, yes. so did I. Let's talk about them because you've got seven awards to, to hand out. Tell us about those awards. Yes, well, every this is an annual thing for the Arts Council. We have seven awards. The first two are project based. One is a youth award for youth 14 to 16 that we pair a mentor with them in order to help shape their career. The second project award is the Corel Award, and this is a technology fused with arts kind of an, an award, and a project is submitted at the end of that, and it's financed as well by sponsors that we have. There are three key awards that celebrate artistic excellence. The first is the IBPOC Emerging Artist Award, and this is specific to black artists, indigenous artists, and artists of color that are an emerging places in their careers and they're looking to get some get some um showcase their work right. and introduce new audiences to the work they're doing, a greater platform for some of the barriers that they may have faced. We have the Peter Honeywell Mid-Career Artist Award, which celebrates an Ottawa artist that is is really, really thriving in their career, and, and we want to make note and celebrate that. Right. And finally, uh, with the City of Ottawa, we partner for the Victor Tolgazi Award, which acknowledges the work that a cultural leader does in our community and uh, and and showcases that uh, that the legacy to, to the community. We also have um, a Community Arts Educator Award that we introduced okay. last year. And one of the Great reasons idea. was, yeah, yeah, we were seeing there was a real decline in the arts curriculum in different kinds of schools, so we partnered with some wonderful uh, partners with MASK and with um, Arts Network Ottawa to bring an award that recognizes the work that, that artists do in the community to teach uh, our community art. And, um, and then finally, we have the Project X award. Okay. This one is strictly photography based and we collaborate with SPOW, the, um, the School of, of Phot Photographic Arts in Ottawa, as well as the Ottawa Art Gallery. And we've negotiated that, that the piece for the uh, recipient is actually displayed at the gallery itself. Oh, so, what an opportunity. Yeah, yeah there's financial return. The, the awards range from $500 to $5,000 depending on which award. All the information is on our website, of nice, course. Nice. Yeah. Well, what was the, so what's the nomination process? process like how are, how are each nominee judged exactly well we do have a group of peer assessors that are selected that reflect as many disciplines as possible because these awards are for any discipline it's right. not just the performing arts or just the visual arts it's across the board from uh, from somebody who uh, creates comics to tattoos and everything in between we have peer assessors that assess the uh, nominations that 
typically happens in the fall of each year. Okay. If you follow us on our newsletter, you'll everyone will get the information about when those nominations are open. You can nominate yourself or you can nominate another artist in the community. And then it culminates in a big celebration of, uh, of artistic excellence and uh, at, at, that's free to the public uh, this coming Monday. When artists approach you at the council, what, what are some of the biggest challenges that you continue to hear from, from artists? Some of the greatest challenges is the capacity to be able to fundraise for themselves right. through, grant, through grants and, and things like that. We aren't a granting body. Here in Ottawa, the city of Ottawa's cultural unit disperses grant funding to the community. So we act as a bit of a liaison for them okay. and offer some insight into, into grant application, grant writing. And that falls into the professional development development side of things that the council does, right. where we offer, say, a grant writing workshop for artists that have, have ex seen existing barriers in the process. We also advocate to the city in ways that maybe we can improve the application process for something like that. And with full-time artists in Ottawa making if, uh, roughly about $14,000 a year, wow. we That's really need, is, eh? yeah, we really, really need to, to, to give the tools for the artists specifically so they can stay in Ottawa, so they yeah. feel lauded, appreciated, validated, and can lead a, me a meaningful life while, while dedicating their time to their work. It's tough to watch them leave. It really is. It is. I, I, you know, we see, it, we see it all the time, and it's, um, it, like, it's heart-wrenching, right? It is. And because we take so much pride, because when they go on to somewhere else, right, we, we sort of take, you know, a little bit of that possession where, oh, you know what, they're, they're, they're from Ottawa. Yeah. Um, open to the public, the, the awards? It is. It's it's Excellent. open to the public. Just register online on our website. All the information's there. Terrific. Yeah. Um, great to see you again, Nicole. Thanks so much to yourself. And I know you've got a great team there as well at, at the council. Yeah. So uh, really appreciate the time today. Thank you. So right. do I. Take care. Uh, this is uh, happening at the Ottawa Arts Council Arts Awards. is uh, happening at the Ottawa Little Theatre. It's on May 15th at 5.30 p.m. And as Nicole just said, you can find out all the information on the website. That is ottawaartscouncil.ca. We'll be right back after this.